They are one of the most magnificent creatures on Earth. Graceful and intelligent. They are the largest of the dolphins and also the ocean's greatest predator. They are called killer whales, orcas. This is the account of one orca that attracted the world's attention. We first came to know him as the star of the hit film, Free Willy. But his real name is Keiko. And unlike his computer-created double, he was not freed, but remained in captivity. As you're about to discover, Keiko's ordeal is just as amazing as any Hollywood plot. His plight sparked a monumental human effort to return him to the wild. We are in serious risk of not getting Keiko out of here. Join us now for the true story of Free Willy and Keiko's incredible journey home. Keiko's story begins nearly 20 years ago off the coast of Iceland. In these cold waters, Keiko was born into a highly evolved society of orcas. Air-breathing, warm-blooded mammals like us, orcas have evolved over 35 million years, one of the most advanced social orders found in the animal kingdom. Among their own, they live a peaceful life of social harmony and cooperation. The heart of the family is the orca mother. Like all wild orcas, Keiko would have lived with his mother his entire life in a closely bonded family of brothers, sisters, and his maternal grandmother. Keiko was watched over closely and nursed for the first 18 months before learning to hunt schools of herring, the mainstay of wild orcas in the North Atlantic. Each family of orcas communicates through a complex language of whistles, clicks, and cries. Keiko would have quickly learned to recognize the distinct dialect of his family. Even in the dark depths of the ocean, orcas can recognize each other's calls from miles away. Keiko might have lived in these waters for up to 50 years, but fate would soon change his life forever. The waters of the North Atlantic are rich with schools of herring, hunted not only by orcas, but by humans as well. Always alert to new opportunities, the orcas have learned to follow herring boats, knowing that a free meal awaits them. Keiko's family had also learned this technique. Though the older whales know to stay clear of the nets, the young ones are often overcome by the sight of so much food and are trapped. Normally, fishermen will release the young whales before they are harmed or the nets damaged. Seventeen years ago, during one such feeding frenzy, everything would change for Keiko. The captain of the herring boat, Gudrun, had been offered thousands of dollars to capture a young orca. 
Keiko was drawn into the net by the teeming school of fish. Once inside, he was trapped. From accounts of other captures, he likely cried out in panic. His mother probably circled the net frantically, but for her baby, there would be no escape. Barely two years old, Keiko was taken from his family. His journey into the world of humans had abruptly begun. Orca captures in U.S. waters ended in 1976. And whale traders next came to Iceland to find young animals for a growing industry. Young orcas like Keiko were selected for their ease in handling, transport, and later training. Having survived the trauma of the capture, Keiko is now a very valuable commodity. Brokers arranged for his shipping from Iceland to marine land of Ontario in Canada. Ontario, Keiko joined six other orcas being trained for sale to amusement parks. He is the youngest of the group and is constantly harassed by the others. Timid, he becomes less marketable and remains in Canada for another five years. Then in 1985, Marine Land is approached by a park in Mexico City. Keiko is sold for $100,000. His arrival at Reno Aventura Amusement Park is received with great enthusiasm and he quickly becomes the star attraction. The spectacle of such an exotic creature performing in the middle of Mexico draws enormous crowds. Over the next seven years, Keiko's size increases dramatically, and his fame grows to celebrity status. For millions of Mexican children, a trip to Reno Aventura and a chance to see Keiko is a dream come true. I got her. Then in 1992, Keiko's life takes another strange turn when he lands in a Hollywood movie. The film's producer, Lauren Schuler Donner, casts him in the title role of Free Willy. Oh, my boy! Come on, Willy! The script called for a whale that was a solo whale in a tank, and it all came down to this one tank in Mexico, in Reno Aventura, where they had a whale, a young whale, in a tank not too fancy, all alone, with a, with a, a holding tank next to it that we could use. 